So the observer, uh, what I call the observer tool. So what's to recognize with the observer is that anything that can be observed, you cannot be that which is observed. So all that is observed is in the field of the transitory and passing world. So, so what are the things that are transitory and pass and that, cha and that change in the world of change? Well, thoughts pass, feelings pass, the body passes, this world will pass, sensations will pass. So everything that is passing must be observed. Because if it's noted that it's passing, then it's in the field of transitory, or in the field of that which is changing. And that which, that which observes anything which changes and passes cannot be changing and passing. So it must be that which is always constantly and eternally present, and it witnesses all phenomena which pass. So how we do this? Let's, so to start doing the observer is recognize, take a reading of what is currently identified. How is experience being experienced now? Is there any experience? Is there any identified experience in this moment? Is there, if there are thoughts passing, is there identification with thoughts as if they're me? Well then what's observing this identification? Because that which observes the identification with thoughts is not a thought. It's the observer of thoughts. Are there feelings in the body? If there's any feelings being uh, identified within the body, these feelings are, ch are changing. They're sometimes here, they're sometimes not here. Um, so that which knows when the feelings are here, when they're becoming intense, when they're passing away, that which observes the coming and going of feelings cannot be the feeling. That which is observing the feelings is the observer of feelings. What about images? Are they like memories of the past or projections of what's going to be done for the rest of the day? But these are images. So that which is observing images is not an image because the observer of all images cannot be an image. So that which observes image is imageless. Is there, is there experiencing of time? If there's tracking of time and seconds passing, what's observing the tracking or the recognition of time passing? That which observes time passing, which is not interested in time, is timeless. Is there any sense of location? Is there a sense that I'm in this location, or the me, or the separated self, is in a specific locality? Or well, what is it that observes a place being here or there or over there, that which observes all locations cannot be in location. So it has no location. So all of these things are changing. Now, if something is experienced as self, then the self-inquiry has to start. Because if I experience myself as a body or an image, then it's the, the inquiry is being in the position of that which is observing the thoughts or the body. Be in the position of the observer of the body or the thoughts. Be in the position of the observer of any sensation within the body. Now, when one is in the observer, one will immediately get detachment and the feeling that one is the thoughts or the feelings of the body will start to dissipate. If in the position of the observer there is still any identification with thoughts, images of the body, then self-inquire as to what is observing the observer. Is the observer of the identified observer identified with anything within the realm of the transitory or the realm of form or the realm of that which changes and passes? So with this process, eventually all things which are identified as being self in limitation will dissolve until you're that which is that 
which is formless, which is timeless, which is locationless. It's the observation or the witnesser of the world of, cha of the changing and the passing and the transitory. But this witnessing never changes, never passes and is never transitory, even though all things that pass before it are changing and passing. Thank you.